that's interesting. Because when my parents were coming along, they were really at the beginning of Social Security. So they could not really look to the government to provide much for them. So they were very concerned about savings. They were very concerned about hard work. You fast forward to where we are today. You know, people ask why can't the government create jobs while we're still seeming to have jobs and still not uh, uh, finding their way um, across this country. The interesting thing, if you watch other economies, when the government leaves the marketplace alone, the marketplace has always corrected itself much quicker. But yet when the government has tinkered with it, it almost has, has doubled the time for the, uh, the market to correct itself. But the point well, I, I was making like is this, is that when, when the older generation had to, and they didn't realize that they, they realized the government was going to provide less, we had less of the problems we have today. But it seems though the more that the government is involved in our lives, people think less about savings, people think less about their own personal responsibilities because they feel they can defer to the government. And so if you couple that with the economy and the loss of jobs and everything else, you can say that the government has taken away the initiative for people to do for themselves. And therefore, this economy at, overall suffers for it. I agree. Uh, and uh, I think that's um, sort of that's what happened under communism, is that there was no, one, no incentive to, to work hard or anything like that. Uh, and I think we have become like an entitlement culture, um, where these things were originally considered like a mercy. Healthcare was considered a mercy, you know, but now we consider it an entitlement. Something everyone deserves, but um, if we have all these rights now that sort of came out of kind of came out of thin air. A right to healthcare uh, is something that we've been laughed at. But the founding fathers were laughed at that idea. I mean, our, our natural rights were just the basics that were required to keep the democracy working. Uh, but now we have a right. I mean, in Sweden, I think it was that there's a right to the internet. Uh, I mean, it, it's crazy. I mean, we can't just keep adding rights out of thin air. That has to come from somewhere. Uh, and the right, and the government does not owe you a living. Yeah, I mean, you're, um, you know, again, it's, it's a mercy. You should be glad to, you know, you shouldn't think that you're born deserving, you know, life on a civil platter. Uh, you have to earn, you have to earn what you get. Does it bother you, though, that there are 18 million Americans in this country who claim disability? Um, 18, don't you think that there's a lot of fraud? 18 million Americans on disability. My idea on fraud and people lying is that it's inevitable, and I don't think it's a good excuse to drastically reduce social welfare. That's my opinion. Do you think we should reduce social welfare? Right. Um, I think probably the best place to go for cuts is entitlements, and when I say that, I mean knocking out pensions, looking at what the private sector does. I know, like, Lockheed Martin, for instance, got rid of pensions, I forget when, but a little while ago, so it you know, didn't affect me when I started working there. Um, but, you know, something to help us say, you know, the government's not going to take care of me when I grow up, or when I retire, so I need to put away some of my money so that when I do retire, I have some. And, you know, I'm doing that personally, but, you know, with the way the government's been overstepping bounds, who knows when they might start reaching into savings or taxing money that you already have accumulated and saying, well, we should get 2% of your accumulated. We take it when you die, we'll take it while you're alive. You know, I, I don't know. But um, I agree with Murray on the pension issues. Government pensions are out of control. Um, state, uh, state level, especially in my state, I know in Massachusetts, um, and I know individuals who take so much. Um, federal pensions are also a little high. Um, but, I mean, I will stand by it. Um, most social welfare in this country does right now. Well, look, this is another special We the People. RightSideWire.com. You guys visit it because you're going to be seeing yourself real soon. RightSideWire.com. Okay. That's really good. Guys. Superstar music right here. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.